Hello, Billy Cor from Carolina Circle City. It's um, Sunday afternoon, um, February the 17th of 2013. Um, it's a slow and very, very cold um, Sunday afternoon, so I figured why not make a video. Uh, there's my good friend Chris Rogers live on Rockin' Waves 11294 on my IBM Think Center, um, which is my temporary main computer. I sold my main computer Friday on eBay and hopefully this week I'll use the money to to buy myself a new Intel Core i7 machine. Really really exciting but this is a cool little machine itself. It's um, got a 3 gigahertz Pentium D processor um, with a 1 gig of RAM, very fast 1 gig and a 250 gigabyte hard drive which I added myself this, and I got all this from Goodwill for just 15 bucks. So, um, and I got it running Windows XP. This is my, like I said, my temporary setup until I get a new computer. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is, if you remember Friday, I uploaded a couple of videos of video footage taken straightly from the feed from my, from two Packard Bells of mine. Well, if you're wondering how I was able to make that possible. Well, let me show you. I used this little box right here, a PC TV encoder. Now what this is, is it pretty much converts a VGA signal from your computer and converts it so you can plug it in through via uh, to your TV or VCR via uh, S-Video or composite. Now I use this to um, get the video from my Packard Bell right here to my main computer for YouTube videos by using this little um, Dell USB TV tuner card that I got back in 2007 and I've never really used it up until now and it works really well really good quality too and I use um, okay let's uh, go to open up my program. I use CyberLink PowerDirector 10 to um, capture the video footage from the Packard Bell. And I and now um, for audio on the line out on the sound card I got this little um, stereo splitter cable. One end goes to the speakers on the Packard Bell's monitor, and the other end is this little um, wire. I don't. Ugh, I rent my visor. It's this little wire for the um, which gives you these two RCA um, cables for left channel and right channel. Boy, look at the mess I'm making right here. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to uh, my main computer here. Power directors open. We go to, oh, jeez, oh we go to capture. Okay, so and while it's detecting devices, we will um, let's take a look at the connections on here. All right, this is S Video out, which I'm using. This one's composite out with the yellow plug we're familiar with on DVD players. This is VGA out, which goes to my monitor right here. And this is VGA in, which goes into the computer. Which is very, very convenient. And right here is um, the power plug. It's actually a USB cable. One of those is powered by USB. And since this computer doesn't have USB on it, I simply just use one of those... USB to AC adapters, which works quite well. I just gotta unplug it at night or else it might burn a hole in it. <laughs> anyway, it's, we got this up here and we got a picture. Now there's about a second or two delay on here. And actually there is no delay, it's just frozen solid. Huh. We'll just go back to edit and reopen it again.
All right, it's working now. Yeah, there's about a second or two delay, so everything I do, I have to, like if I'm playing a game, I gotta do everything over here on the computer, which is, which is perfectly okay. It's more casual that way. And it, and we can hit start recording. Now sometimes when I record, it will freeze at two megabytes. It didn't this time, but every now and then it does, and I have to stop it and start it over again, but that's no big deal. And um, let's see, we can just uh, do something right here. Let's open up Navigator. Welcome from Packard Bell. We offer you and you can hear it echoing over here. To Turn the speakers off over here. Microsoft Windows. You may also begin by taking a quick lesson on using the mouse. Uh, no time for a cheesy mouse lesson joke. We got we got work to do. Okay, let's just close out of it again. And uh, let's stop the uh, capturing, and we're going to save it. It saves it as an MPEG file, and. Uh, Play a media viewer. I've never done this before. I... Well, let's see what happens. Turn the speakers back on. And oh, oh here we go. And this is what happened about a minute ago on the computer. Welcome from Packard Bell. We offer you two computing environments to choose from, Packard Bell's Navigator or Microsoft Windows. You may also begin by taking a quick lesson on using the mouse. And voila. Now, you may also recall that Friday when I uploaded those videos, it, I, I didn't just upload a video from this Packard Bell, which is the Legend 818 CDT. You also got to see a, a Packard Bell running Windows 3.11, which happens to be my good old Legend 402 CD over here. Now, in order to do that, I have that I have this little KVM switch, which is controlling the monitor and the keyboard over here. So I just uh, switch the switch over here. And we're in Windows 3.1 on the Legend 402. And we can also see the picture on the on the main computer over here has changed. Now, um, there is one slight problem. This KVM switch doesn't have um, any inputs for speakers or audio. So what, what you have to do is you just simply got to unplug this little splitter from, the, from this Packard Bell and plug it into the back of that one. But um, I really don't do much recording on here. I just mainly have this if I ever need to do anything Windows 3.1 related. Let's uh, switch it back. We'll show it on the screen here. And there we go. <laughs> Simple, huh? I tell you, this little um, encoder box is a very good investment. I should have had one of these years ago. <laughs> But, um, yeah, that's, I guess that's just about all there is to show. Um, for now, this is Billy Core signing off.